Okay, number 18 from the back of the homework packet. We are finding the surface area of this triangular prism that has an equilateral triangle on both the top and the bottom. So this is a picture of the top. And this is what the base looks like. So I know whatever the area of the top is, that the base is the same. So I'm going to have two triangles like this as part of my prism. And then there's also going to be the lateral face. And there's three lateral faces. But since this is an equilateral triangle, then if this is 10, then this one over here is 10, and this one over here is also 10. So that helps me to know that all three of my rectangles will be 10 by 15. So that should make this easier. So the area of the base and top will be 1 half times little b, little h. So that means the area of the base is 43.5 centimeters squared. And that's going to be the area of both triangles, both the top and the bottom. And the area of this part here is just a rectangle. So I find the rectangle by little b. And this is the, b, the base and height of this rectangle. So that would be, why did I that twice? 10 times 15 is 150 centimeters squared. But there are three of these. So one way to find the surface area would be to add the top plus the bottom plus the front face and plus the other two faces that are in the back. So there's Try and see all these things at once. So this is 43.5, and the bottom is 43.5. Then this front face here is 150. This face, the side face here is 150, and this face over here is 150. So when I add those all together, I get the surface area is 537 centimeters squared. So that's one way to find the surface area. Another way to calculate the surface area of a prism is to know that the surface area of a prism is the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism plus the area of the base times 2. So in this case, the perimeter of the base would be 30. The height of the prism is 15. And then I'm going to double the area of the base. And this should give us the same answer. So if I do that, yep, I still get 537 centimeters squared. So that's another way to find the surface area. The volume, there's really just one way. The volume of any prism is always the area of the base times the height of the prism. So I know that the I know the area of the base already from the previous part of the problem is 43.5. And I'm going to multiply that by the height of the prism, which is 15. And then I get my answer is 652.5 centimeters cubed. So there's two ways to find, there was two different ways I showed you to find the surface area of this triangular prism. One was just to find the area of each face and then add them together. Or you can use the perimeter of the base times the height to get the lateral area. And then the area of the base doubled to get the top and bottom. And then you add those together. Or, or you can just find each piece. And then to find the volume, we always do the same thing. Area of the base times the height. Okay, good luck.